G'day folks. Well, it's time to do the uh, back brakes on the Micra. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have new tyres yet because my supplier is completely not responding to emails and has not shipped my goods out. So I can't replace these damaged back ones, but I might just do a temporary repair on that one to keep it up and uh, go from there. It's the only reason I didn't bother fixing the, or at least that tyre, because... Uh, well, it's badly brake fluid affected all over the inside side wall uh, because of failed mar or failed slave cylinders. I've got two of them, and I've got a set of brake shoes. So we'll see how we go with that. Two different brands, but they look like well, one's left, one's right. But yeah, I bought these out of the UK, half the price of stuff in Australia. <laughs> Yeah, it's no wonder Australian businesses are going under, it's too expensive. Anyway, enough rambling. I guess I better get the jack out, get this car up and get that wheel off. I'll start with one side at a time, I'm not going to put it up on stands or anything. Can't be bothered. It's pretty straightforward, just strip everything down, clean it out with brake cleaner, fit the new cylinders and bleed them. Um, well, fit everything, then bleed cylinders and put the wheel back on. Should be pretty easy. Okay, well, I did, did decide to uh, jack the centre of the axle beam up. It's pretty solid, so we've got stands and the jack supporting it all at once, so we're safe to go. Uh, brake lines look pretty good. They're not cracked. They're still rubbery. So we'll leave the flexible lines as they are and focus on these nastiness inside there. Wondering the drum outer should just come straight off actually. Because that centre's loose. Hmm. I'll give it a light tap with a rubber mallet and see if the outer comes off as it is. Otherwise I've got to take the uh, main uh, nut off and pull the whole lot off as a single unit. Yes definitely been leaking. It's taken all the paint and powder coating off it. It's uh, attacked the inside of the wheel. There's a lot of corrosion and rubber's been badly perished and affected by it. It's probably why this one's leaking. It's probably split somewhere. Oh well. I can only uh, give it a bit of a clean up and see how we go. Put new cylinders in it, new shoes and it should be good. Okay, well, I think it'd be safe to say that these rear brakes weren't doing anything for a while. The drum is just wet with fluid. Everything is. Yuck. So I'm going to have to strip all this down. I probably will have to take this wheel hub off. We'll see how far we get, but I've got a feeling it's going to come out. Oh, good chance to repack the bearings. But yeah, those linings are shot. The drum isn't scored, there's just a bit of a lip on the outer edge there. But it's uh, pretty nasty stuff. Good thing I've got lots of brake cleaner. <laughs> I'm going to need it. I don't know what that's all about. Probably bits of lining material. It's all stuck to the slave cylinder. <laughs> brake fluid's pretty nasty stuff. It's good at taking paint off. I'll give it that much. Okay, I'm getting cleaned up. I never did get that nut off the uh, spindle. It is very, very tight. <laughs> yeah, it's not too hard to do with the uh, hub still on there. So I'm just going to clean up the backing plate and give it a bit of a paint, I think. Um, that's how the shoe assembly sits inside it. I took it apart piece by piece, but that's the final assembly side. There's a little tensioner thing for the parking brake preload or something. Uh, there's a That's got a jack screw in it. Um, and that's the dead cylinder, a leaky cylinder. So I've got to replace that one and both shoes, but I've got to clean up and salvage all of these other little bits. So yeah, not too bad. I'm just leaking fluid down from the reservoir at the moment, so not bad. I'm going to purge the crap out of the system anyway. Do a full flush and bleed. But I'm going to have to wash most of that fluid off before I can paint it. 
well that's looking a lot better uh, other side I'm going to take the hub off because it's so much harder trying to assemble everything in there with the hub still on uh, yeah definitely not worth the effort but I know now and that's a good thing because knowing is half the battle and well for this car half the battle's done with that brake drum now to the other side I'm just going to clean this drum up and uh, give it a quick coat of paint and we'll be good to go hmm yeah, there are the old linings and cylinder. I might even pull that cylinder apart, see how it works. Well, I know how they work, but I'll show anyone who doesn't know how they work, how they work. I mean, there's plenty of material on the linings. They're just all glazed and nasty from brake fluid leakage. So, yep, that's all scrap metal. <laughs> no use to anything else. I'll just give that drum a good clean and that'll be it. There's a slight lip on the inside, outside edge there, but it doesn't matter. I'll get it over the shoes and once it's on, that's it. There's no grooving in the other surface. That's good. 